Stalina might have won that game. What do you guys think? Did Stalina win that? Taking the Jandis? Probably helped a lot right there. We'll just have a little peek. <laughs> Yo, what is up? DracoCat here, and I got you guys the Stalina special. This is a Soul Fragment Demon Hunter list that I slotted the new Skullamance Legendary, Starsuit, and Stalina within, and the games turned out to be really fun. That being said, this idea came from a Meta Breakers podcast a few months ago where we had a guest named Liquid Ox. He did this free to play run to legend where he brought a boulder fist ogre on a journey to top 100 legend. The point that he was essentially portraying is that the pilot matters so much more than the cards, right? And uh, that concept is kind of what inspired me to take this card that I really like and put it in this deck I really like and then take it to legend. Even if it's not the most optimized variant, we still managed to get it there with over a 60% win rate. So I don't recommend crafting her, but if you have her and you're pretty versed with Soul Fragment Demon Hunter, maybe give her a spin. And I know this deck is a little bit tricky and people are really interested in learning it. So I am going to have a guide coming out in the near future to learn to pilot this bad boy like a pro. But in the meanwhile, I stream every weekday on Twitch at 8.30 a.m. New York time. And if you are interested in learning this, you are welcome to join me for some vengeance for breakfast. Enjoy the games and happy hunting. Your life's about to get so much better, man, with streaming if you just, because stream decks make it a little bit easier. It's, it's just a little bit like, I have the thing that shuffles the songs and stuff, like on my stream deck right now. So I just do that the entire time. Hey, you know I got your back, squirrel. We'll keep the blade dance, because it's a rogue and we can kill the stealth minions with that. All right, we got the war blades. Saucy. Nut brain. That's funny. I see what you did there. See what you did there. This song, man. This dude's got a crazy hair though. He has like the devil's lock. I think that's what it's called. I don't even know who named it that. I don't even know if I approve of it being called that. This is like the only song that ever made it right. Body slams. You're supposed to go with the seismic toss squirrel. This is the only song that they ever made, right? No, they have that miss, uh, they have, they have... It's another song from this album that's... I think it's called... Kill Caustic. Yeah, this one. This one's sweet. What's the story behind the name Draco Cat? Um, I have a cat named Khaleesi, uh, who's named after Daenerys Targaryen. This has a very it's yeah, but it's AFI. Um, the story behind Draco Cat is I have a cat named Khaleesi, and uh, who's named after Daenerys Targaryen's character from Game of Thrones. And I love dragons and I love cats, so I figured I would brand everything around something that. Um, made me happy to design and stuff. I hope that makes sense. Amelia Clark is literally my wife. Dude. Dude. I mean, not literally, but I love her. I mean, I didn't think you, I didn't, I feel like we would have talked about this before if she, <laughs> if that was actually the case. That's not something you just keep saying. You like dragons. I mean, you like Dragon Priest? I did like Dragon Priest. I know that isn't like what I play. I guess, actually, it isn't not that much. It is kind of like this. I'm, I'm playing Dustbreakers, you know? Yo. 
I think this is the play, guys. I think we take the board. Draconoi Operative was messed up. We don't play a lot of Priest lately, right? But I used to really like playing Priest. I don't know, guys. Do we do it? The other thing would be like hit, equip weapon. We don't really need to do that. Let's see what we can take. See ya, Jandis. I've been considering naming my boat Daenerys, but I saw yesterday that another boat at my marina had that name. Well, there's a lot of other good names you could do. She has like a million names. She's the Unburnt. The Unburnt, Breaker of Chains. Yeah, or Sink the Boat. No, we don't encourage that. My opponents are all just trying to figure out what Stalina does and whether or not that, that fucked them up or not. Okay, so now we just remove them, I think, with the Chaos Strikes, correct? Chaos Strike, Hero Power, Blade Dance. Because this doesn't get there, but this does. Yes. Sink the other boat. Oh my god. Only the best advice in this chat, guys. Yeah, Operative is the reason I wanted to play Dragon Priest. I liked playing the, the Dragon Priest um, towards the end of the rotation before the Rise of Shadows year, where it was like the uh, the win condition was Shadow Reaver Anduin with the, the Mind Blast ping, Mind Blast ping, or ping, Mind Blast ping, Mind Blast ping for 15 damage. That was pretty sweet. Ooh, okay. Hopefully we don't die. I'll get right on sinking that bow for you. Ah, oh, it's funny because his name's Kraken. You get it, guys? we will just go with Tyrion because he's funny AF. That's fair. Tyrion is actually a good name for a boat. But you want your boat to be a girl. You can name your boat Stalina. <laughs> Six plus six is twelve. Ooh, this one makes the cut. Stalina might have won that game. What do you guys think? Did Stalina win that? Taking the Jandis? Probably helped a lot right there. Probably made a big difference. So if we don't draw the Warblades, we will lose against the other Demon Hunter. But at the same time, we don't need them early in the game. So I think we throw them. We'll be okay. Ooh, we got Stalina, guys. He's not going to see it coming. Thanks for, thanks for dropping by yesterday. No problem, man. Glad to support you. And your Hearthstone Streamer Adventures. Selena is the greatest of all time. We all know. So we draw. Play a minion, please. Ooh, he's running the wands. Hopefully play something I can hit with the I-beam next turn, huh? So then we can outcast our Stalina. You've returned with coffee and donuts. 
Draco, do you still have a win multiplier at diamond one? I didn't catch that. I think you would have started with an 11X. Yeah, I do have an 11X. So I'm still at like times two right now, Mamba. I'm just, lo I'm losing. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Chat, chat doesn't need to know. <laughs> Donut sounds so good. You're making me hungry, squirrel. Okay, Malicia is gonna be beefy. Thanks for the follow, MHOGH2. Why are you gonna hit that? Are you afraid of my one three? Okay, good job. You're not messing up, man. These are like the worst options. It's between these two. Honestly, putting the coin in the deck is funny for the concept of him sculling into it and chaos strike. Should we shuffle the coin into his deck? <laughs> or should we shuffle the chaos strike? You like the coin? <laughs> I hope he skulls into it. I hate it when my opponent shuffles my coin into my deck. Said no one ever. Kraken, you didn't even know it's been open for like three years. I have a litter. Okay, you. Okay. I thought you guys lived near each other. Ow. That's a pretty good top deck. Don't, don't hit fragments. Good. Bad. Bad. Ah. Uh, I hope you aren't living on Longleaf. What is Longleaf? Anyone here played Metal Gear Solid 5? I can't believe I, I didn't play it before. My friend always talks to me about Metal Gear Solid 5. Lord. He is a big, big fan of the Metal Gear life. What? Horde Pillager. I think I might just actually go for this, even though I... It would have been nice if we didn't hit all of our soul fragments with our skull. It's crazy how we had like four in our deck and we hit two. Hey, Draco, what's your runway with this deck? Right now we're at 59%. And I have lost a little bit in the last minute, so. So do you like hard music or is this random? I like hard music. I like it a lot. I used to be in a hard music band, one might say. That's why I have all the tattoos, you know what I mean? So people know what kind of music I like without me showing them. I'm kidding. <laughs> Hard music and vape. <laughs> oh my God. And I, I hope it doesn't look that douchey. What was the name of your band? Cabaret Runaway. It's spelled like this. If you Google it, you'll see pictures of me wearing like band guy clothes. 
You and Jay Alexander should be BFFs, it seems. I'd be I'd be friends with Jay Alex if he wanted to hang out. Do we have lethal? How much damage we got, guys? Okay. Four. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven. I probably need to hit his adept, right? Maybe we'll put pull this out. I'm being a little bit chill right now. Boom. What am I facing a lot of today? Facing a lot of rogues, a lot of mages, and a lot of pain warlocks, and a few bomb warriors. That's what we're facing today. I'm going to scope you out. Hey. Soft spoken, hard music. Right. I also realized really far into the future that no one knew what, uh, I wonder if we have enough here. I think we definitely do, huh? Seven, eight. There we go. All right, next final boss. <laughs> uh, the deck command is exclamation mark DH, my friend. I'd call this deck more mid-rangey than control. Don't make me pull up Ridiculous Hat's response to me about calling it mid-rangey. I've been in your shoes before, Lord, and I was, I was corrected. All right, I'll show you guys. Hopefully we don't fall behind on this game from being distracted. All right, guys, let's find the fucking team. Okay. This is what ridiculous hat wrote. Okay. Let's let's pick our play, and then we'll then we'll go back and we'll read this. If you guys don't know who Ridiculous Hat is, he's a streamer. And he does a whole bunch of important Hearthstone stuff. Okay. Mid-range beats control by having more stuff than control can answer. Eventually, like, warriors are out of brawls, so then you play Ysera. So, for instance, uh, a very commonly seen mid-range deck would be Druid or uh, Highlander Hunter, right? Because they build these dense threats that the control decks can't effectively answer, right? What up, Adam? Nice to see you. Arana Isbe. Yes, sir. Okay, we're okay. Oh, you replaced her with an I-beam, my friend. Um, all right, so let's go back to reading with the, the Twitter thing that we were talking about. Okay. Control Demon Hunter and Soul Fragment Demon Hunter preys an aggro with a lot of efficient removal. It has a relatively low threat density. Four, five drops, four weapons and phase damage. It cannot keep up with a steady parade of threats. The worst matchups are Paladin and Druid, which have a super high threat density, but a slow start. All right. Uh, calling in a mid-range deck can send the wrong message. I like beating mid-range by playing Battle Blazing Battle Mage. Coin companion, not by holding back a bone chewer brawler into a mystic turn. Playing an aggro deck against a control deck as though you were in a race against time will lead to a loss, which is why the archetype names are important in the first place. Yes. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense. What the fuck? We'll get this up. There we go. Thank you guys for coming to my TED Talk. That's this message was brought to you guys by Ridiculous Hat. Um, and uh, now we're back to the Hearthstone stream. Thank you. I always thought the mid-range stream came from your average mana cost of all the card combined. I actually kind of had a similar concept, but the, the term mid-range comes from like the evolution of like decks from like other card games coming into Hearthstone, right?
One, two drop, two, two drops, three, three, three drop. Right, right, right. Too many words. I mean, he made a good point, honestly. I probably didn't read it or do it justice, but too many words. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way we can remove all of these things. So we can, you can use the coin. Three. It's pressure play, we know this. And then next turn we can use the lapidary and the twin slice and heal really far out of range. I want it that way, steel panther, okay. All right, absolutely man. We do like Steel Panther. Steel Panther is good shit. Okay, so we use the Twin Slice first, I believe. So we don't trigger off the... Uh Guys, black, <laughs> dude, too soon, man, too soon. Dude, that was kind of crazy to us because we had no idea that he was even like sick. Hey, welcome back. Do we take his card now, huh? We'll probably just win, right? I think that might have been the icing on the cake. He probably wanted that. Do you, do you want this deck code? Yeah, of course. It's a exclamation mark DH. Um, if the, if the Selena isn't in it, you just swap out an eye beam for her. We did it. Thank you, Selena. <sighs> I'm glad we were all here for this today, guys. We did it. 